Herald in Ottawa next month. Emily and David are here to tell us more uh, about it this morning. So thanks so much for coming in this morning. No problem. We were just talking about it. This is going to be the easiest part of your day. Sure. Because <laughs> after this, you have the competition. You have a 10-minute presentation. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. So these two are competing in this competition. So let's talk about what is this exactly? For people at home who are watching saying, well, what makes up a science competition? What What is it exactly? All right, well, a uh, Sanofi Biogenius competition isn't like other competitions. This competition allows us to work with real ventures in real labs with real science, and it really lets us uh, participate in the science fields. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, so let's talk about what you guys have been working on for about four months or so, you were saying mm -hmm. earlier. So what, what kind of projects are you working on? So I'm currently studying some anti-aging aspects. Anti-aging therapy is going to become um, a multi billionaire industry in mm -hmm. the very future so um, we're looking at just how and why cells age in all of our bodies and studying proteins that are involved in the aging process you know what Kevin wants to talk to you <laughs> you can help him out a lot and how about yourself what have you been working on um, well I've been working on trying to modify the DNA and HIV in order to make it less harmful or less pathogenic for the human being wow. That sounds fantastic. So um, you're both presenting your projects in a 10-minute presentation. Yep. Um, that's a long time, even even for me. Um, how do you prepare for such a thing? Um, well, essentially, first, the important part, you build your presentation and you put out all the points you want to convey during your presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, it's just practice and practice and practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get into it, it becomes your spiel. It, could be, it certainly does, it certainly does. So uh, how big is this in the science community in your high schools? How many kids are participating? Well, in Alberta, we have about 17 students um, okay. participating in total. In, from the beginning of Sanofi, over 4,000 students have participated in the competition across mm -hmm. Canada. And it ranges from um, British Columbia to um, Prince Edward Island, I believe. And, yep, BCFBI. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. So how important is this to you, to get your hands in, in real life things, things that are going to take you outside of high school into possibly careers and, and things going forward? How big is that for, to have that opportunity? Oh, it's giant. Uh, ever since we immigrated here from Azerbaijan a few years ago, uh, we could never imagine such possible opportunities for high school students here. Mm -hmm. And uh, even a lot, some university students don't get these opportunities. So this is really amazing because it lets us try these things beforehand before we actually go into these fields and it's just it's really amazing mm -hmm. now a little nerve-wracking though <laughs> am i right this is a big competition so how are you dealing with getting ready for this whole thing well i've i've rehearsed with my lab and my mm -hmm. um my friends just to get as much advice as possible on on presenting and then also um we all made posters had them checked over by people professionals in science and mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a process for sure now there's there's younger kids than you at home right now thinking this is something I would love to do how big is that for for sparking the science love this competition and seeing people like you with these great opportunities have you seen that kind of manifest itself and grow science a little bit in oh, the high yeah. schools it's it's definitely very inspirational because it's not something a lot of people think they can do mm -hmm. but once you get into it once you've done a whole bunch of research and you just go through the process of coming up with a simple idea and working it through it's definitely very feasible and it works perfectly to spark this interest of science mm -hmm. because you get this hands-on experience it's something that not everybody everywhere yeah. gets absolutely you know what thanks so much for coming thank in thank you so much you know much. what you guys are already <laughs> winning in my books because this is fantastic so the biogenius canada alberta regional finals are today the poster session goes from 1 30 to 3 30 award ceremony at 4 30 there's where you need to go to get uh, to check things out make sure that you do and support these kids they're doing great things the website is right there on your screen as well thanks so much for coming in thank you and so much today thanks. as well thank you all right, let's head it over to a, a perfect anti-aging candidate. Oh, no